Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today at Stamp on the Go, I had done this one here. And um, it's a few things I don't like about it. So let's start new and let's see what we can do. So um, the piece of cardstock, eight and a half by 11, you're gonna cut at five and a half. So that's gonna be right in the middle. And then we're gonna score this at four and a quarter. Make it easier when you fold it. Now we're gonna take our bond folder and reinforce the score. This is a one layer card, that's it. Put that there. Now I got a piece of Tipat, a scrap paper. You need at least a four and a quarter wide and we're gonna go about oh, three and a half. I'm not even sure what I done with the other one. Now, uh, leave that right at the tip there, and we're gonna bring this at mm, one and a three quarter. See, we're gonna cut that diagonal. You know what, maybe one and a half. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna put the tip right there and then go at one and a half. So that gives you a slant. So it's like going uphill. Now we're gonna glue that on top of, well, I had snail or something here. We're gonna glue that on top of our vanilla. Did I say our base card? It's very vanilla. In this paper, it's the Tide Pad. Gonna put that right here. Okay, now sometimes you're off just a tiny bit. You know what, you're kind of eye there. Sometimes you're off just a tiny little bit. So what we're gonna do is turn our card this way. Oh, both ways, I really didn't pay attention, that's okay. Take your scissors, always cut on the back of it so you can guide on your card base. If not, when you go this way, you don't see where your card finish and it's hard to guess, estimate where it is. So this way you know exactly where to cut. Always cut from the back. Here we go. So if it happened, you're not just right, you got it. We're gonna use the three quarter um, circle punch we're gonna put just a little dent here. See, tiny little dent. Now, let's do our stamping. You're gonna see what that's for. I'm working from something I get in mind there. Um, the grating, I'm gonna put, let me pedal for a while. So why would you use that thing? Sometimes uh, you work with somebody and they seem to do a uh, Main, oh, you know what? We're going to put that on top. Most of the work, so you can give them a card and say, hey, let me pedal for a while. Now, I need my foam under when it comes to photopolymer. Then we get a better print. I'm using the Memento ink for this. I'm going to put going up, so the bike is going up. Give a good push. Perfect. Now I'm going to use the basket, the little basket for the flowers. The other one I put it in crumb cake and that's what I didn't like. So it's going to be all um, in uh, black and vanilla. You're going to line up your little basket right at the handle bar. It's kind of tough to see through the camera, but I did a very good job, I would say. Now the flowers. I'm gonna do that. Oh, I'm missing my marker. I want it. I need a um, melon member. We're gonna stamp the flowers in the black. Make sure they're all in good. Gonna stamp the flowers right here. Now I'm gonna use the melon member and just add a little bit of color on the flowers. And this, I know it's stamp on the go and I'm coloring, but it's still very, very fast because we're just gonna do the flowers, not the leaves or nothing, just the flower to get some colors. We won't color the bike or anything. Now we're gonna use our Appy together. And we're gonna put that in the corner on top there. Oh, let me 
make sure that when you put this on your it's not curvy here we go I'm gonna put that right here that look pretty straight up oh, perfect okay I got the washi tape or I call it the wash tape it looked like wash tape but it's the glitter tape we're gonna take this put that right here don't cover the wheels that look about right now again we're going in the back this and then over here and now that little bits there I just like to take my scissors and trim that off here we go now we're going to take our um and this is the Baker's Twine in the all in all the catalog occasion catalog and it is it come in in a pack of two so you get um the melon mambo and mint macaron i'm gonna do that you know what i won't dibble so let me take a good piece of that we're gonna bring this in again so that's why i wanted that little old there bring that in oops i get stuck in my scissors bring this in Make sure you keep it around the... I know I went too big on this here. Here, sideways. And then we're going to bring that about here. And we're going to tie this up. We're going to fix after we're done the tying. What I mean fixing, spreading the, the thread there. Do this. It's just add a little bit of color that bring the flower out. I could have done two circles and that would have been better. You know what we're going to do? Let's go get that piece under. So that's going to do our crisscross. Here we go. Let's flip this one under. And it's going to be the little loop, another loop. Bring it back down. Here we go. Voila, my friend. How simple this was. So it's just, see, you can do any, um, you don't, even if it looks, you would have to color the bike, you don't have to color nothing. And it's perfectly fine. We just add a little bit of color and call it good. So uh, this is it for the stamp on the go today. For all your product, visit my blog at frenchystamps.com. Again, the glitter tape and the um, pedal pusher this stamp set it's only available till march 31st in celebration this is the type pad and the very vanilla cardstock this is it for now till next time happy stamping my friends